right, Leslie again here with NVIDIA, and I'm with Alvin from Razer, and we're here to just kind of look at some cool tools for PC gamers to use and to, to kind of give an advantage, uh, specifically what is in front of us is for Star Wars The Old Republic. So, um, why don't we start by looking at this keyboard? I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, it's, um, as far as I know, it's the only one like, like this. Um, the keyboard, um, the main focus on the keyboard definitely would be the switchblade module. So, switchblade user interface, what do you call it? Um, basically, this has uh, 10 ad adaptive keys right here. Basically, this means the keys can change. Um, there's a screen below that actually projects the, uh, the, the images on the screen. So, um, basically, the keys uh, form up part of the module. Um, there's also a 3.05 inch uh, LCD trackpad track screen. Or, you know, it's a mix of the screen and a trackpad as well. So, um, the, the concept is that the, the keys are actually, um, you're a lot, uh, you can bind your uh, abilities to the macros and you can choose a picture and put it in the screen. So um, basically, you can change um, how it looks like. You can bind a fireball to it and then you can choose an icon and you can put it as a fireball icon. Uh, you can even Skype your friend and put his face there for, um, you know, for visual reference. So it's actually very uh, innovative and uh, a great way to use uh, this keyboard. Uh, right now, what you see here is the home screen. What you call it a home screen? What you saw was a trackpad just now. You have a browser, media player, gaming mode, macro mode, so on and so forth. So actually, this is catered to a wide range of um, activities, not just for gaming. You can use for productive suites as well. So um, we're actually trying to redefine the way uh, gamers you know, use a keyboard. It's not just for gaming. You can actually use it for a lot of things. Um, the browser in particular, um, let's say you're playing uh, a game and then you, you need a hint or you know, trying to find where an item comes from, you can actually browse uh, through this screen instead of alternate tabbing out the game and uh, you know, just searching elsewhere. So I guess um, this is really uh, innovative and in a way it changes the way you, use, you play your games. And um, that's all we're about at Razer, you know, trying to give, give the best for the gamers. Yeah, very cool. So, um, so we've got the Changeable keys here. Yeah. I'll, I'll send you a picture so you can put me down for your Skype. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh, uh, touch LCD yeah. screen exactly. within here. So it's a mouse and a touch screen. Yeah, exactly. And then the, the right and left mouse controls. Yeah. And then uh, lighting through here, right? It's been changing. Yeah, it's a uh, tricolor tri LED lighting. So uh, we can have up to 16 million colors. You can customize, uh, you can let it cycle if you want, like what's cycling now, or you can choose any color you want. So it's a really high level of custom customizability. Yeah. And then uh, some Star, uh, Star Wars uh, characters yeah, to go this, right uh, along with it to, to kind of add to the authenticity. Of yeah, this is uh, our best fonts uh, from the Star Wars universe. The fans will love the fonts. It actually uh, gives it a real uh, cool Star Wars flavor to the keyboard. Oh, so this is a nice treat. It's uh, only two in the world right now. So yeah, this is a prototype. A, a prototype but is there? Um, do you have an idea of when people will be able to uh, purchase it, or is that? Yeah, of course. I mean, even we do it ourselves because uh, we're targeting a game launch. We're going to sell it a game launch. Um, with what what the Lucas has for so long, and even we don't know when the game is launched. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so um, we're trying to we're going to mass produce this soon. Um, hopefully, when the game launches, we push it out to stores as well. So then we've got so this is all Star Wars: The Old Republic yep. um, gear. So here, the nice hefty mouse mat. Mouse mat. Yeah, you can see um, full steel um, base. It's metal base, a uh, rubber rubber feet. It has a hard surface on top, and um, Interchangeable surfaces, so you can choose your uh, your side. You're gonna be a bad guy or a good guy. <laughs> so the hard surface is uh, really good tracking tracking qualities. Um, it lets you uh, run your mouse over, and uh, you know, if you're a high sense user, or low sense user, you don't lose your tracks. It picks up your sensor really well. Uh, next up, we also have the the mouse. It looks really much like the Naga Epic. Um, Basically, our Naga Epic was the best. It's the best gaming mouse for MMO, so we did not want to reinvent the wheel. Uh, what we did was we just reskinned it for Star Wars. Um, so you see the 12 thumb buttons here. Um, basically, you can remap it to your one to equal buttons. So for MMO gaming, you actually have um, really 
high level control over your keys. You do not have to reach out in awkward positions for your, your abilities, um, especially when these games have thousand and one abilities, you know, a lot of a lot of spells and, and, and abilities to trigger. So um, this is really pop popular for MMO gaming. Um, it comes with uh, wired and wireless modes. You can plug it in straight, or you can plug it into your base receiver. Yeah, and um, also this acts as a charger. You can charge it like this. It comes with um, tricolor LED as well, so you can change your colors, match it with the keyboard, things like that. And finally, um, yeah, the headset, 5.1 uh, virtual surround. Um, this comes with um, also interchangeable faction plates, you can pluck it out and change it back depending on your mood. Uh, comes lighted up with uh, tricolor LED at the bottom as well. Volume controls right here. Um, comes with the mic, you can bend it around. You know. So um, it's actually a circumoral design, uh, you can see it covers the whole here. So it's uh, pretty lightweight if you want to give it a try. Yeah. Yeah, this is a. Uh really hard, uh, hooked up the, the Star Wars fans yeah, exactly. here. <laughs> We're all ready to rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. So it's a really good treat for the fans, yeah. I guess. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Love it. Great. All right. Well, thank you for uh, tuning in and, and keep checking GeForce.com for more Gamescom updates.